What's up, everybody? I'm Ryan Thomas. Welcome to the second segment of the night on the Thomas Tech Sports Podcast. I am your host. Um, just wrapped up the first segment of the show tonight. Who would win in a fight between Muhammad Ali and Mike Tyson, the two greatest heavyweights in the history of boxing? That was the number one, um, my number one choice uh, for the first segment of the show, my number one choice fan question. That one was sent from, uh, sent from Jake. Um, Jake's from Baltimore, Maryland. Um, and this one is from Matt from San Antonio, Texas. What should the Dallas Cowboys do? He wrote, what should the Dallas Cowboys do? Should they stick with Dak? Should they go with Tony Romo? What is your take? Question mark. Well, Matt, my take is this. Obviously, the Dallas Cowboys have gotten off to a fantastic start, although they have started the season with Dak Prescott, the rookie fourth-round draft choice from Mississippi State. They are 6-1. and one. Um, heading into the bye, actually now they're they're coming off the bye, um, heading into a matchup with the Philadelphia Eagles. So, Dak Prescott has really taken the league by storm, and I anticipated that he would play well. But what has impressed me about Dak Prescott is his composure, not on the field, off the field. He's played with such poise over the course of the season so far that you would think that he would let these... Actually, Dallas is 5-1, and one, correction. Um, just realized that. Um, you would think that he would let the fan questions, you know, kind of... It would be tougher for him to kind of handle that media attention, being that he's playing this well, being that Tony Romo's kind of in the shadows, looming in the shadows... And Dak has handled it like a true pro, answering the questions, taking the questions like a true pro, answering the questions like a real teammate, like a real leader would, would you know, answer the questions uh, asked of him. You'd think that he would be so sick of these questions about whether it's Tony's job or his job or this is this Tony's team or Dak's team. And he's handled it really well, so I really respect him for that. And he's obviously, he's a great guy. Um, he has the word tattooed mom on his wrist, um, in tribute to his mother who lost her life, um, battling cancer. He said that he put that tattoo on his wrist. This is what I read. I don't know if this is 100% true, but I thought it was a neat story. He said he put mom on his wrist so that every time he threw the ball, he would see her name. So he'd always be thinking about her. That's what I read. I don't know if that's 100% true, but I thought that would, that's actually a pretty cool Pretty cool story. And obviously, number fourth selection, um, number four overall, the number four overall pick in the 2016 draft, Ezekiel Elliott, has been as advertised. Obviously, Dallas has that um, amazing offensive line, um, controlling the line of scrimmage almost on every snap, whether it's a pass or a run. That offensive line is the best in football. But Ezekiel Elliott has played really well. And runs where you think he'd go down, he turns them into you know bigger runs. He's just an all-purpose back, a great running back. Great pick by Dallas, and it was one that I thought would happen um, in my mock draft segment on the show back in April. Um, but the question is, should the Dallas Cowboys stick with Dak Prescott? I've heard so many different takes. Roger Staubach, the greatest cowboy ever in my eyes, says that they should stick with Dak Prescott because you don't want to mess with the momentum that you're that you're playing with right now. I I agree to that. I can understand that. I think that that's a valid point. Obviously, they're five and one. They didn't anticipate to be five and one without Tony Romo, and nobody really played. Um, nobody's really been able to back up Tony Romo successfully. Obviously, last year they had Matt Castle. He was pretty terrible. Um, and Kellen Moore, but obviously Dak Prescott is better than both of those quarterbacks. But he hasn't, he hasn't looked like a backup. We know that Dak is the future of the franchise. We know that he hasn't looked like a backup. We know that he probably is a franchise quarterback. This is where my opinion comes in. 
obviously you don't want to shy away from the momentum. You don't want to change things up. But the window of opportunity to win a Super Bowl with this team that you have, with Tony Romo, is closing, and it's closing fast. One could say that that opportunity has already closed now that Dak Prescott is the starter. Fair assessment, fair um, fair analogy, so to speak. But I disagree. I think Dak is a good quarterback. I think he's played really well. But I do not know if Dak Prescott could win the Cowboys the Super Bowl this season. Long term, he's got plenty of games left. Dak's their future. He's their starter. That's what they what they they know that obviously now that what they got and where they got Dak Prescott in the fourth round is worth a lot more. He's worth a lot more than a fourth round pick to that franchise. Tony Romo coming back possibly within the next couple weeks. Postseason football is much different than regular season football. Playoff football is a completely different world. I question what would happen if they were to leave Dak in. How would he react to the Seattles of the world? How would he react to the um, you know, Arizonas if they make it? Um, you know, this season has gotten off to a really weird start. Teams that I anticipated to do really well, like Arizona, have gotten off to a slow start. We don't know where the playoff bracket, you know, or what the what the playoff bracket will look like. What we do know is that the window of opportunity for them to strike while the iron's hot with Tony Romo is closing. And Tony Romo has earned the right to get his job back. The term, no player should lose their job to injury, that term is stupid. Obviously, any player at any point in the NFL can lose their job to injury. One case that I think of immediately, Drew Bledsoe gets hurt, Tom Brady comes in, the rest is history. Don't even have to delve into that. We can just leave it at that. Is this one of those situations? I don't know. But what I do know is that the window of opportunity for the Dallas Cowboys and the way they have to change their offense around Dak has worked so far. But let's look at who they've played so far. And I hate to do this because it makes it seem like I'm nitpicking you know, their success. But let's take a look at who they've played so far. They could realistically be 6-0. and oh. Had Terrence Williams stepped out of bounds the last play of that game, the Giants would have had to defend or try to block a field goal attempt from Dan Bailey, who is as automatic as anybody in the league. And he probably would have made that field goal. They would have probably got one more play, got it closer, maybe a 50-yarder in Dallas. He would have made that field goal. I'm, I'm going to just assume that he would have. The next week, they played the Washington Redskins. Washington is Washington. They're not that good. They're inconsistent. And they are just, they're eh. They're okay. Chicago is a disaster. They're terrible. San Francisco is a disaster. They're terrible. Cincinnati, that is where you start talking. Cincinnati's been okay. Cincinnati actually got off to a bad start, but Cincinnati is still a good football team. Cincinnati is like the Arizona of the AFC. They have just gotten off to a slow start. I think they'll be there at the end in the playoffs, but I don't know how. <laughs> um, then the week after that, they played Green Bay. Um, what will be two weeks ago as of the 30th on the 16th, week 6. They played Green Bay. That's the game that really got people talking as to whether Dak would take Romo's job. But the window of opportunity is closing for 
the Dallas Cowboys to win a Super Bowl with Tony Romo, with Des Bryant, with Ezekiel Elliott. Ezekiel Elliott was brought in to help Tony Romo win a Super Bowl. And if they make the playoffs, which I think they will, what will they... There will be a huge drop-off between what Dak looked like in the regular season, if they stick with Dak for the regular season, and then, you know, going into the playoffs, or in the playoffs. There will be a huge drop-off. He will not look as good in the playoffs as he did in the regular season. And I think this should go back to Tony Romo, maybe Week 9 against Cleveland. That would be a game where it would get Tony Romo's confidence back up, playing a terrible team, probably one of the worst two teams in the NFL, along with San Francisco. Um, And that would be the best option. Dak is going to be their franchise quarterback. Dak is going to get plenty of opportunity in the coming years to be their starter. I do think this is Tony Romo's last year in a Dallas Cowboys uniform. I do think Tony Romo should get another shot at winning a Super Bowl in Dallas. It would be pretty unprecedented if a team won a Super Bowl and then they let that quarterback go. But I could definitely see it happening. If their defense stays healthy and if Romo comes in and, and plays really well, then it could happen. You know, anything can happen. Any team that makes the playoffs can win the Super Bowl. We saw that with the Giants. They're nine and seven. Go, go to the playoffs, they go to the Super Bowl, they win the Super Bowl. You know, that we've, we've seen that before. So anything can happen in, in the playoffs. If a team makes the playoffs, you have a chance. And I think if Dallas were to go to a Super Bowl, it would only be with Tony Romo as their quarterback. And if they were to win the Super Bowl, or lose the Super Bowl, or lose in the playoffs with Tony Romo, any of those situations, I do think that this is Tony Romo's last year in a Dallas Cowboys uniform. I think this is his last season. This is the season where they know that Dak and Elliott are their future. Prescott, Elliott, quarterback, running back, duo. That's the future of the franchise. And the window is closing for Tony Romo. And they should give Tony Romo that chance because... They didn't have much around him, and he was their main, um, their main man. You know, he put the team on his back. A, you know, a couple times, no pun intended, putting the team on his back, being that he has a back problem. But in all seriousness, this is Tony Romo's team. I think they should give him the job back. If. You know, things don't go well if they make the playoffs and they lose, or if they go all the way to the Super Bowl and they win. This should be this should be Tony Romo's last season in a Dallas Cowboys uniform. But I do think he should get his job back. I do think he should get his job back. Week nine against Cleveland. They blow through Cleveland. Romo's got his mojo back. And They move forward. Hopefully carry that momentum. And Dak would understand. Dak is a smart guy. He's a, as I said earlier, seems like a guy with very high character. You know, he had the DUI incident, you know, in in college or during the draft time. But he was very apologetic. Seems like a very smart guy. So, Dak would understand. He's a team player. That's what I would do. I would go back to Tony Romo and hope for the best, knowing in the back of my mind if I'm Jerry Jones that this is Tony Romo's last year as a Dallas Cowboy. That's my take on Dak or Romo on the Thomas Take Sports Podcast. Thank you for listening. And submit those questions to Thomas Take. 92 at gmail.com. Any questions sports-wise, send them my way, and I'll answer them on the air. Take care, guys.